Hi everybody, welcome back. So that's my pelvis after surgery. I'm currently getting casted in this photo here for my prosthetic. These are the separate parts of my prosthetic before it's all together. Really very interesting how it all adds up together. My foot that you can actually paint the nails. Just a little comparison here for fun. And she's completed. So this is a little sensitive for me to see myself so skinny. Back then I lost so much weight. I was 130 pounds before all of this happened. Right before my surgery I was 101. After surgery I was 79. And today I'm about 104, which is perfect. I'm very grateful. Another thing I'm grateful for are my prosthetists. I can never say it correctly. I had a great team. They were by my side every week trying to make this work because as you can see where I just pointed my pubic bone, the uh, prosthetic kept hitting it and it was very painful. And eventually uh, we ended up getting it to a place where it didn't hurt me any longer. So that was the biggest mountain to overcome and we did it. The reason why I still have my pubic bone is to help uh, and assist when I am pregnant. So it holds the baby in a little bit better and my surgeon believed that that would be the best option for me. So, but at times if I ever hit it, it's excruciating um, because it's very sharp but it'll be worth it when I'm pregnant. One of my problems was that I couldn't actually lean far enough to really kick the knee out. So as I was walking, they would say, lean, 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 lean. <laughs> kind of a running joke, but you know, I just forgot how to walk. It's, at this point, it's been months. <laughs> And Peggy is home. Yay! I forgot to take off the ugly sock here, but <laughs> you get the point. Having some fun, my husband and I are taking pictures. So this was the very first uh, time at home that I was practicing and I just decided to try to keep my crutches up this time without being assisted and you can see my reaction I'm like oh my gosh you know I actually did it I was really excited so this is a little bit of time after that first video I would say probably a week or so and I'm down to one crutch instead of two I'm still having a lot of trouble trying to bend the knee. And not to mention it's really hard to breathe in this thing. <laughs> Balance is key here, folks. <laughs> it's not easy. So if you're going to try this with just one crutch, you're definitely going to want your crutch on your dominant side to keep you from falling. You can also use a cane, even a walker. goofy here of course that's my style so now we are unassisted which is pretty exciting sorry for the butt shot but we're all human we all have one <laughs> at my old job I used to tell people I may have half a butt but I don't do things half butted trying to make it PG here, but you get the point. So I did not think I would get to this point, guys. This is huge. And I'm very 
very proud of myself. Okay, let me. 